have experience. Lots of it. Hooking up with straight women. Just hooking up though. But if you in a relationship with them, that girl ain't straight. Easy and Natalie, please, for the sake of the LGBTQ community, if you're gonna represent us in some way, please put girl and friend together. You guys are girlfriends, not friends that are girls. You guys have been separating that word for a while now. I don't know if you're trying to get a bigger audience because our community is not as accepted, but have some sense of pride, especially since June is coming up and it's Pride Month. Girls, put that word together. Y'all are girlfriends. All right, let me get back to the topic. Easy and Natalie uploaded a video called Our Girlfriends Rather Date Men. Not satisfied. This is a collaboration with Saya and her girl. I forgot what her name is. But we're gonna go ahead and jump right to it. Y'all ready? Cause I am. Let's get it. You guys miss anything about men? Oh shit. Oh god. Me to get my car. Alright, can we be completely honest? Wait, let's leave y'all. Can we be completely honest? Wait, I won't. I'll wait. Are you saying you're ready for this? Oh my god, I would- oh, what's up? Listen, that's one question I would not ask any of my girlfriends. Never. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. Don't compare me to them. And don't compare them to me. Hey. Look who we Savvy, Savvy, that's her name. Okay, okay, okay. So, this is a new crib? New crib, who it is? Oh. Got a new crib oh. Damn. That's one thing I will say about these young people is that I'm proud of them. They work hard to get the things that they have. Good for y'all. Hey, all the details coming up the stairs and stay work. Yeah. Damn! <laughs> Welcome to the grand. Yo, Saya, what's up, man? How you doing, man? I miss you, bro. Okay. She's always She's cooking. Always, you know, broccoli, little salad. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, no? How you doing, bro? How you doing? Okay, we live it. We live it. All right. She sure does love that fish. So, Saya. You got rid of your bachelor pad? I need a full tour. I have to get into the bachelor pad. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. By the way, if y'all really want to know my opinion on Saya and Savvy, they're not going to last neither. <laughs> <laughs> Don't attack I'm me. I'm not working with nothing. I'm not working with nothing. Wait. Oh, damn. Wait, give me the ball. Neither of us are working with that, baby. Give me, give me the ball. Go give me the pass move. Uh, All right, come on. Let's see what you work for. Come on. Hey. All right, air ball. Ooh. Girl, you you pointed that camera straight up Natalie's ass. We saw everything. Yeah, Cool, I like it. Of course. All about Biggie. Can't you see? You say the studio's a vibe. Always. I know I can't read. Last time I tried to read that, what happened? But y'all can read for yourself. It's the Brooklyn way. We got a full bathroom in here. Full bathroom? Oh, I like it. I like it. It's a cute okay. little bathroom. Get into yes. toys. Yes, the mushroom. <laughs> I see the mushroom from Mario. I'm familiar Toad. with my boy. Yep. Toad. Dang, who already knows who are the minions? Oh, the minions! Yo! Easy and Natalie minions, y'all went over to Saya's crib. Oh shit! <laughs> Let's get SpongeBob, Tasman, Bugs you. Bunny, you know. Oh, I love it. Does not have a light in here yet. Well, y'all need to hurry up, cause where we gonna sleep at? Yeah, this for y'all. Yeah. This is another one. Wait a minute, another bathroom. Okay. Another point. Cool. Oh, I like it. I like it. Okay. I like to sing. What's up, what's up, what's up? Oh, hey. Hi, Kitty. Hey, cat. cutie. Aww. Hey. You coming? You coming with us or you, you, you staying? Hey, <laughs> it's so fun. Hey, look. Okay. If you feeling spicy, that's your girl. You feel happy. What happened? Dang. Set the mood. Set the mood. Sure. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay, another bathroom. Just kick it. Okay, like DJ Khaled. Another one. Sheesh. Okay, and another bathroom. It's a vibe. Yo, y'all. It's a vibe. Can you tell which size is sink is size and which is mine? Oh, 100%. That is yours. That's size. For sure, size girl. You can just tell. 
This is yours. It's definitely your personality. That is not. <laughs> that is mine. You know, little super bad girl. Heck right? yeah. Y'all are too That's funny. Cute. <laughs> super cute. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm ready to get to this grubbing dog. Oh, snap. It's about to go down. All right, all right. Okay, so, Sia, what we got on the menu again? Oh, you was. Yeah, me and Nana would sit next to each other. Oh, let me sit next to each yeah, other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeez. Okay. So, okay. so here we go. We got some rice, some jasmine rice, some mm. broccoli, and some. Get into salmon. it. Oh, salmon. Oh. Fire. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that looks good, Saya. Girl, you can throw down. The secret sauce. You might lose your girl in a minute. This is for y'all. Because honestly, me and Savvy already shared our point of views on my channel. Oh, I didn't where see we it. We were like, what is it like being straight women dating women for the first time? Expected from our girlfriends dating straight women. And how does how is that for y'all? You know? Oh, girl, girl. You guys are not straight though. Or do you guys mean like y'all were living the straight lifestyle when they came into your life? Is that what you mean? I think for me personally, it's not even about whether or not she's straight. Okay. It's about um, her preference and shit. Never know. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's more so about me. Like me feeling like, do I fulfill you enough? Mm, like, are, am, I, am I satisfying you enough? You know what I'm saying? Like, Cause you, yeah, am I enough overall? Like, do do you go outside and, and like feel like damn, like I miss guys? Like, ooh, mm. you know what I'm saying? Okay. Mm. That sounds like insecurity, Saya. I never felt that way when I hooked up with these straight girls. Never. To me, it was more so, we're having fun. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I don't care if I fulfill you or not. We're having fun. We're having a good time. Because what I have, that man don't got. And I'm talking about physically. Okay. Damn. Put a mouthful. That's deep. That's deep. I just wanna, I just wanna feel like I'm, I'm doing everything and within my willpower to make sure she's happy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Question. Is this your first time dealing with a straight person, or you've had to no. share? Okay. Well, <laughs> your experience. She's experienced. Your it's experience. Your well, it's your first time. <laughs> to be honest with you, a lot of straight women pursue 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 us. They do. Us they do. They do. They do. I swear to God, they do. But it's only because of curiosity. They're already emotionally attached. It could be in a friendship level, but there's already that connection. Sometimes they, they're a little curious. Like, okay, she's kind of cute. You know, she's attractive. She's an attractive girl. And they want to see how it is to kiss feminine lips. Even as far as they want to see how these girls fuck. <laughs> they want to see if they can get pleased. It's all curiosity. And he's straight. <laughs> What? Every woman that I've dated who's straight bagged me. Yeah. No. Oh, bagged you. Or did I bag you? Or did you bag me? You gave me them eyes. Mm -mm. Ooh! <laughs> what, what, what things come up for you? Like, like what dating, you yeah, dating oh, okay. a straight woman that only dated men before you. Okay, so for me, how do you feel? Honestly, I feel like first and foremost, I only date straight women. Oh, I'm okay. okay. What are y'all <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna tell you, I am more attracted to straight women. It's not because they're straight. It's because in our community and and femmes, ladies in our community, please do not get mad at me. I don't find that many women attractive. I feel like the ones that I'm attracted to, that I personally find beautiful, are studs. Unfortunately, I'm not into studs. I'm not into the swag. I'm, I'm not, I want a feminine woman. And there's a lot of straight, feminine, beautiful women that I'm attracted to. Oh, she yeah. like that shit. I, okay, so me personally, I just like turning bitches out. No, 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 I, okay, she would do it for an old lesbian woman. Oh, yes, right? yes, Saya, tell it. I was just speaking attraction. Relationship-wise, I want a 100% lesbian woman. Women who like women and women only. Because I feel like they can relate to me a lot more. I've dated all these bisexual girls. The ones that I've been in relationships with, the ones I've actually dated, have all been bisexual. I want me a lesbian woman. A lesbian feminine woman. Where you at? Where you at, boss lady? No, I don't. I don't prefer that. I don't prefer that at all. And the reason why I don't is because let's talk about it. Look, <laughs> so when, okay, so I used to love lesbian women. Once I was like, when I came out, it was like, oh, lesbian this, lesbian that. But then it was like, 
It was too easy for me. Oh, you know wow. what I'm saying? I'm just saying, like, now. What you mean, gonna, easy? Yeah, uh, it was too easy. Chase. I like the chase and I like the challenge. Oh, gotcha. Everybody knew that I was a lesbian. And I was gotcha. popular. So a lot of the lesbian girls would cater to me and they'd just be like, all right. And they was with the shit. So it was that's like, true. I didn't like a bad hair, but it was like, that's true. This is too easy. I like the challenge. I like the chase. Chase, I want to feel like, all right, I gotta, like, I gotta do so. I gotta work for it. I don't want an easy girl to just throw herself at me. Maybe I was looking in the wrong. Maybe I was looking, looking for the wrong in the wrong places at the club and stuff. But it was like every girl I got with, it was like it was just like either my homies had already been with her or it was just too damn. easy. So it was just like, yo, straight women, it felt better because it was like, damn, they're probably not even interested in me if I like her. Like and she could come, you know, come to the other side. Mm -hmm. That's when you know somebody really like you for you and love oh, for you. Exactly. When, what they, when you turn a whole bitch like around, exactly. Like, oh, that's what I'm that's saying. A, that's a cool perspective. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, yo, I knew that women only liked me for who I was. You know what I'm saying? I was like, oh, popular on social media, or whatever. These lesbians, like, mm -hmm. oh, they know. It was like, oh, you're easy, you're easy. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So when it came to straight women, they just was like, oh, okay, yeah, I've never dated a girl. I would never do that. And then. Boom. Yeah. Boom. I met Natalie. <laughs> I, and so, then boom, I met Natalie. <laughs> Shit happens. I guess. I was just like, damn. I'm not going to her. It was, was a challenge. No. Wow. Come <laughs> on, baby, at all. Mm -hmm. But definitely, I didn't know I, I wasn't in love with you immediately. When I was, was falling in love with you, out of all the women I've ever dated, I thought you were going to be like, there's no chance. Because, like, I knew you. You were so damn straight. Oh, it was like, so she was every <laughs> day. I'm telling her about every day. Every day. I'm like, there's no way she could ever. Damn. Damn, imagine being in love with your friend and your friend, all she talks about is these guys that she's interested in. That's so heartbreaking. I used to talk about that shit. Yeah? Me and Knox used to always talk about that shit. I used to be like, they go f***, bro. I was like, oh no, son, oh no. I was like, they're gonna f***, bro. Me and Knox was like, we was rooting for it. Like, Knox was on it heavy every time. That's funny. Knox would be like, yo, yo I just gave her a chance. Hey, yo. Hold on, yo. Get over there. Knox is a team player, you hear yo, me? Yo, shout right out now. to Knox. <laughs> <and Jill. laughs> so, the challenge is dated Natalie for one. She is a straight woman. And of course, to me, I only date straight women. Listen, <laughs> listen, listen. I only date straight women. But for you, the challenge with me was just more so like, dang, is she going to stay in love with me? It's just a phase. Yeah. But I think that's what every girl would do. Yeah, that I do agree with. That's the problem with entertaining straight women. Most of the time, you are a phase. You are an experience. And these fucking girls forget that we have feelings. We ain't playing no games. This is life. Stop fucking with me type shit. But, but it's like, dang, is, she's gonna, is she going to stay in love with me? Like, maybe it's just a phase, she's just, she's already loving her best friend, and she's just blinded, like, dang, I love my best friend so much, and she just confessed her love, like, I have to say yes, I do love her, you know, yeah. but when you tried it, and, like, actually experienced the love, it was just like, dang, I'm like, that was my biggest, like, worry and scare, like, it was just gonna be a phase. Do you guys miss anything about men? Oh shit! Oh god, these are getting like. All right, can we be completely honest? Wait, let's let y'all. Can we be completely honest? Wait, I won't. I'll wait. Saya, right. prepare yourself emotionally. Easy, prepare yourself emotionally. Get ready for this. Yeah. Wait, hold on. No, I don't want to go. <laughs> no, I don't want to go. <laughs> you go first. Right, I'm, I'm ready. ready. My hands are ready. Go ahead. There's a less emotions that happen. That's a fact. In a in a straight relationship. Where I'm used to being the more emotional one. And it's very equal when it comes to us, when it comes to vulnerability, when it comes to emotional. I can't even... I'm just and girl, you got like one of the most sensitive females out there. And I'm one of those girls too, I ain't lying. I'm able to catch an attitude and like my man's unbothered by it. And he's like, like stop acting <laughs> like, She be getting an attitude back! <laughs> So you miss so I miss I miss that about like straight relationships I would say is like there being a balance when it comes to emotions. Because the females usually have more of the emotions and they get more of the attitude. So when you're dealing with two of them, nah. 
Damn, that's just crazy. I don't like that they're saying that that's what they miss. Yes, I guess talk about the difference if you if you want to, but when you say you miss it, I just don't like that phrase. I really vouch for that. That's that. But that is the question that Saya asked, so. I'm never, again, no offense. Oh, here we go. I'm so excited to say I'm here we go. so excited to say it. But I still love my baby, okay? Y'all don't get this up. I'm so excited to say Again. She is. Hurry up. The smile on her face. <laughs> Say it, bitch. Yeah, I would say the only thing is I personally always had like that height. You feel me? Oh. The height yeah. different. Oh, okay. It's just like, Damn. when I don't care about it, but it's just something that I, that I just like, <laughs> it is a different. But I feel so stature, is that what it is? I get it. it. It's definitely different. This woman is just as petite as you are <laughs> around your height. So, I mean, physicality, I get it. I'm coming for you. Me and my baby short together, and I'm just sticking with it. I'm taller than you. I'm taller than you. You are not taller than me. You are not taller than me. I am taller than you. I don't even wear I barely wore heels, but now I really don't because it's just like, I just can't be taller than my baby. Plus, you miss. So you yeah, just to like height different. I used to like just. Yeah, I, I remember it took it took a while for me to get adjusted to that. But then <laughs> <laughs> that was one two for Nat Nat. <laughs> she talks. She misses everything. Okay, she misses the non emotional tall male. Okay. Wait, I she said I got a few of them. Yep. I, it took me a long <laughs> ass time. Yep. Hurt your ass. No, what I was gonna say. Hey. It's not surprising to me. Y'all know why. <laughs> it is, but once I got it, I, the thing that helped me to get adjusted is realizing, like, damn, like, she's still strong. Okay. She still can pick me up. Okay. Like, you know what you Throw me over her shoulder. Okay. Like. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to let you feel safe with me. Guys, I'm going to be strapped and ready to shoot a nigga head off. <laughs> <laughs> Like, we literally got in arguments because, like, even if I try to go somewhere, like, I try to get a hook of myself in the club. She wouldn't let, like, I'm sorry. I would never be that famous person that'd be like, go get this, go get it. Like, if I want some, I'm going to go get it. Like, yeah, right. period. She's like, no. People around doing the You got to be, a, you got to be aware of like, your Like, protect their mold. Yeah. Out. Like, I've never had that not feeling. Because you got to think about it like this, especially where, where she is in her, you know, career. Yeah, she be like seeing that. the violence. It's like. like you gotta people just be out free for no reason just because of who you are. Yeah, yeah. So you gotta yeah. always be you gotta always be one step ahead. You know what I'm saying? And for you to be a girl, it's like nah, none of that. For yeah, safety it's a reasons. Long to do that balance where it's yeah. like, all right, I gotta let somebody be able to you yeah. know, look out for me because I never had that. I've always been the person that look out for everybody around me. Mm. Just having somebody to be like yeah. on ten for me, yeah. mm. it's just I love it, but it definitely took some getting used to. So I'm talking about. I'm, I'm, talking talking like, like, I'm telling my baby, you can't leave the house without your knife. But so now I be like, she be trying to keep my purse. I'm like, nah, keep that thing right there. Oh, no, I say y'all to keep her her knife right on her teeth. Yeah. This should be show. Sure. Keep my pistol. Yeah. Okay, so wait, <laughs> one last question. Okay, what y'all feel about poly relationships? Ooh. Why did you make that sound like you like? You know, I'm starting to get curious here. I'm wondering why Easy and Natalie always bring up poly relationships. They brought this up with Krista and Alexis, and now they're bringing it up with them. What's going on here? Why did you make that sound like you like Hey, <laughs> if she wanted, she wanted. Want well, let's see what y'all feel about poly relationships. Y'all win. Dub. It's a dub? It's a dub. Definitely not for me. <laughs> this one is enough, mama. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Sorry. You, you could barely handle this. I wish mean, she wouldn't say yes. True. Sorry, what you feel is your answer. Let me tell you why. I was, <laughs> no, let me tell you why. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good with just her. But I understand why people, some people want Seek, seek that type of uh, relationship. Okay. Because I, I feel like it's very possible to be, to be in love with multiple people at once. I feel that too. Because you, gain, you get certain things from certain people. Right. Like you might you might not be able to give me something that I desire, and maybe she can. Right. But we're all cool with and we're all cool with that. that like we're all in that in understanding that. Yeah. Do you love somebody else? <laughs> 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 uh, bro, you really, she said, no, who I, is she? Who is she? Yeah. Who this who this bitch is? <laughs> Mm. <laughs> no, I literally, I literally just said I understand why some yeah. people are probably at risk. But would y'all so y'all wouldn't be down? Would no. you be down? No. No. Okay. I, I, I like I, I like her just for me. Yeah. Okay. <laughs>
<laughs> you with the poly? No, <laughs> no. I, I, mean, I would be down, but and then again, like, if she, she, Girl, she can't go with her like, you would be good. Your hair hair out. Heck no, like, she could be, she could only be a baddie. She gotta be a femme, though. You know what I'm saying? You ever dated a stud? No. Never in my life. Never, I never dated, no, I never dated a stud. But she gotta be a femme, because I feel like if it was a stud, it'd be too much clashing. I'd probably try to compete. Then it's just like me just picturing another stud kissing my girl. Just oh. like, nah, two beautiful so women. Shot. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like <laughs> you better stop that. Like, stop that, I'm that shit. Just kidding. I'm down. I'm I don't play with your life like that because then she is. You down that no. No. Okay. Just kidding. Have y'all noticed that Natalie's vibe is a little bit off in this video? It could be for any reason, y'all. It could just been like a long day for her. She's probably tired. It could be anything in the world or in the planet, but her vibe is off in this video. She's more chill, laid back, not saying too much. It's Unless they ask her a question personally. No. Stay to the point. No. 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 Only time I'm is two Yeah, but well, that's fun for you. How much? What? Fun? <laughs> it's not fun. It'd be more fun if it was two studs. That's not fun. All right, now. All right, all right. <laughs> and that's why it ain't never gonna happen. Never answer. All right, now. It wouldn't work. Right. It was a vibe, yo. Thank you guys for inviting us Thank to you your house. Coming. Yo, yo, you know how to cook, cook. Yeah, she'll like, like, make cook. it my boob in and just stay yeah. here. Yeah. Right. Well, right. Man, you should do a video of me teaching you how to cook something. Oh, yo, you should. Cause I don't cook. Yeah. Sure. That would be cute. That would be cute. I like that. Okay. Gotta get some apron shot and all that. Ooh, that would be a good video. That honestly would be a good video. I don't cook myself, and I don't plan to neither. I ain't interested. I'm too lazy for that shit. Let us know if y'all want to see me and Sia chef it up for our girls. Let us know. Make That'd be a good video. Yeah. If you guys do that, I'll react to it. Give us a like and subscribe. Follow their page. You guys, savvy. Tell them, tell them where to find you. Tell them where to find you. Savvy's YouTube, y'all. That's it. That's, that's it. And Sia, where can they find you? Instagram at Sia. My YouTube is Sia the Dreamer. Oh, let's get it. Period. And look, y'all already know. Nisa Gang, we out. Gang, gang, gang. Hey. 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 Hi you guys, tell me what you thought about this video. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.